The Machine comes to us from the director of Keanu, a movie I actually really enjoy. This film stars Burt Kreischer as a fictionalized version of himself, and this film is a fictionalized continuation of a supposed real story about Burt Kreischer, about his college days when he went on a class trip to Russia and ended up robbing his entire class on a train while they were taking a trip to Moscow. And this film is a fictionalized continuation of that supposed true story where Burt is now kind of living in the shadows now. He doesn't really do a whole lot of stand-up comedy like he used to due to something that happened between him and his daughter. And because of this very famous comedic story going viral, the Russian Mafia finds Burt and kidnaps him and his father, played by Mark Hamill, and they all ensue in this really crazy, drug-induced, violent, gory journey, and it's fucking awesome. As you guys can tell, I'm actually not wearing my shirt. I'm actually exposing my titties because that seems to be the main theme about this movie because Bert always does stand-up comedy without a shirt on so if you don't like it then yeah, click somewhere else. I really had no idea what to expect from this movie. I was not familiar with the machine story. Apparently this is a very famous stand-up comedy story. I mean it has over 50 million views on YouTube and the fact that I had never heard about this honestly kind of blows my mind. And it went viral for a reason, because this is a very far-fetched story, and a lot of people would probably have a hard time even believing this, because it is a story that does seem far-fetched, but it has been backed up by Bert's actual classmates that were there on this trip with him, and one of his classmates apparently commented on the actual Machine Story video, and even tagged every single classmate that was there, backing up the story by saying, yeah, this actually happened, and Bert robbed us. And I find that fucking hilarious. But after seeing the trailer for this movie, I told myself, you know what, even though I have no idea who this guy is, I fucking have to see this movie. And I gotta say, man, I absolutely had a total blast with this movie from start to finish. This is what Mafia Mama should have been. And if you saw my review of Mafia Mama, you know I, um, I thought that movie was a movie. <laughs> this is a very fast-paced movie that never drags. Every scene is engaging and entertaining, and that really all has to do with Burt Kreischer. This is his first movie, and I'm telling you right now, Hollywood, put this man in more comedies, but put him in more movies in general, because he was fantastic in this movie. And they surprisingly do a really good job setting up his family life. I'm not exactly sure if the family aspect is true or not. Um, it, it did remind me a little bit of the most recent movie that came out with Nicolas Cage where he plays himself in The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent where Nicolas Cage plays a fictionalized version of himself who's having problems trying to reconnect with his daughter. Both movies even have a scene where they both go to a therapy session and they are very similar in that aspect because both of these characters end up doing something crazy where they get involved with like drug cartel or like something to do with the mafia and it is very similar but I will say this movie definitely had a lot more style than Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Still really love that movie but The Machine did so many things that I was not expecting from a movie like this and it really worked for me. But going back to that family aspect, I really found myself actually caring about what was going on. There was this whole backstory about how Bert uh, got his daughter arrested because she picked him up when he was drunk. Like I said, I don't know if that story is true or not, or if they just added it for the movie to kind of give it some dramatic weight. But it actually did work for me, and I really found myself genuinely caring about what was going on. And that's something that I did not expect at all. Mark Hamill also really surprised me in this movie. He was absolutely hilarious. He has this whole character arc where ever since he read a Nelson Mandela book, he has resorted to non-violence, and no matter what the situation is, he will never resort to violence whatsoever, and it's absolutely hilarious. I loved Mark Hamill in this movie. I honestly wish we would see him more in like big Hollywood movies, whether it's a comedy drama whatsoever. I mean, aside from Star Wars and all the great voice work he's done, he's such an underrated actor. Like, Hollywood, please put Mark Hamill in more movies. Just, just fucking do it. And as I said earlier, this movie never drags. There's always something engaging happen. This movie just has so much style to it, and the action scenes 
are surprisingly done really well. There's this whole great action sequence that takes place towards the end of the film inside this casino, and it is really great. You can see everything that's happening. It's not like taken two or three where everything is cut back and forth so many times to different angles. Everything is shot in wides, and you can clearly see that the actors are actually doing their own stunts. It's fucking beautiful. I loved it. There wasn't really a whole lot of flaws I can think of because it was one of those movies where I just had so much fun with it. I didn't really care to look at some of like the flaws. There are a couple flaws, but they didn't really do anything to the point where it annoyed me. But I will say towards the ending of the film, it did kind of drag on a little bit longer than it really needed to. It almost kind of felt like um, Lord of the Rings, uh, Return of the King, where you thought the movie was going to be over, but then there's like 10, 15 more minutes and you're like, oh, okay. And there are some jokes in this movie that didn't really land a whole lot. Like, there's this whole running joke about Bert, like, not being the same as he was back then. And now he's fat and he's got, like, titties and stuff. And it kind of got old after a while. But it wasn't to the point where it just flat out annoyed me. It was just one of those things where it's like, okay, we get it. He's fat and he's got tits, but it's not really that funny. With that being said, I had a total blast with this movie, and it honestly is a shame that this movie is coming out the same day as The Little Mermaid, because between this movie and a Disney live-action film, what are people going to go see? It is kind of unfortunate, but I'm telling you guys right now, please go see The Machine if you really want to just have a good time. This movie was just a total blast from start to finish, and I absolutely will be buying this the day it comes out. I'm going to give The Machine a B+. Plus. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching my reviews. Look forward to more coming soon, and I'll see you guys next time in the new video. Peace. Taking over the game one step at a time. Everybody has these dreams of being first in line. It may take a little while before we reach the light. We just gotta take what we gotta make sure that we make it right.